Uh, Ohio State seems to bring the best out of him. Uh, he had career high for catches and yards last year, and he passed the yards today. Uh, coaches come up with a good game plan against these guys. Uh, you know, it's kind of hard when they bring in a new coaching staff, you know, trying to figure out what they're going to do. But coaches put us in the right place. And obviously, when the team's operating at a high level like they were today, um, you know, that, that helps. Yeah. Can you talk about the wavelength that you and CJ seem to be on with the back shoulder passes and everything that you guys have going on together? Yeah, uh, you know, that just goes back to the offseason. And now that we've been together for a full year, going into the second year with him, it's, it's really nice to have him uh, you know, coordinating that. Uh, we, that's a pass we work on all the time in practice because we know it turns up in games. And so when you put get put in a situation in the game, we're able to convert. You made some great catches and you dropped one right in the bread basket. CJ said you apologized for that. Yeah, yeah, I, that's not like me, and uh, I don't, I don't condone failure and you know anything like that. So you know that one drop, that's the only thing I can think about at this point. But um, uh, so now I need to fix that, and make sure that. that's right. yeah. So your perfectionist when it comes to things. I think if you want to be good at anything, you got to expect the best. Uh, if you accept anything less, then I feel like you're not going to get to what your potential could be. Isn't that overshadowing you? I mean, you dropped like seven, seven passes, 129 yards, but that drop is, is what's on your mind right now? Yeah, I left a few of them out there. You know, it's, uh, and now I need to work on making sure that I don't leave those kind of plays out there because we stalled the drive and you weren't able to move the ball on that particular drive. So we need to fix those and come back next week. Going through the mind when the reverse was called home. I was happy. <laughs> you know, uh, it's not often I get to run the football, and uh, Rashawn put on a string. It's really easy for me to catch. I think CJ got in somebody's way. Uh, and then Ike did his job on the outside, so we had a lot of good working parts, and they came together. Matt, what do you think you're team? able to do this year as a wide receiver that maybe you weren't able to do a year ago? Um, just kind of knowing defense is a lot easier. Uh, you know, now that I've seen looks and been in there for a year, it's a lot easier to tell. Uh, you know, what they're rotating to and things like that, what kind of coverage I'm seeing, and then be able to use that to my advantage. Was there a play that helped you with today? As far as, like, a specific play? Yeah, was there a play that, that, that helped you with today? Um, a few different looks. Um, I, I don't know if there's a specific play. I think over the course of a ball game, you know, just having that experience, again, uh, having a full year under my belt, being able to recognize different things so I know if I need to, you know, block the safety or block the linebacker, things like that can help as well.